Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys another Overwatch video where today we're going to be talking about who the best tank in Overwatch is. And it, this, I think this is going to be a bit of a surprise to you unless you know, you've know you seen the thumbnail of the video already. But you, you're going to see me here using four different tanks. I'm going to be using uh, in the vast majority of tanks that you'll be seeing in most games uh, when you think of a tank. I do not use Roadhog in other instance uh, because uh, I, not, I'm not v versed in very many situations where a Roadhog would be super beneficial to my team because I'm almost always the one that has to play main tank. And the as I've mentioned before, the tank duo is the most important thing in a team comp. And... My team no longer has a tank duo because Arawi Risa switched off for a Zenyatta. Obviously, Zarya cannot solo tank, so I'm going to have to switch over to the Reinhardt. I was just mainly using the Zarya, you know, because, hey, if we get Aventon Surge, we're at least getting that first point. And, you know, had to switch over to Reinhardt here because, you know, felt that they had a Reinhardt. We need to block damage and get in there somewhere. You know, hopefully get a hammer down, get a nice cheeky little pin, first force the Mercy to ult, and the Rhine gets backed by uh, a bubble and uh, the Mercy and the Hanzo right behind him. So I fall clear on my face to that. Thankfully, we have a Brigitte, which synergizes superbly with Reinhardt. And once, once you kind of get past the, the main part of the choke here on Volskaya, you kind of, you've, you've already broken the seal and you can kind of get in a lot quicker. I know I have the advantage and the health versus the Reinhardt here. So I go after him with the hammer. He hammers me down. We got the coalescence. I get the hammer down and get myself a little play of the game. They're clearing up a few folks as we got another coalescence beam coming right at us. And I finished it off and we we're able to take the point. So while well, Reinhardt definitely has a lot of great uses, he is always, I felt, been uh, a little overly hyped in his placement on the team since Orisa came to the game, or at the very least, when she got her first uh, major buff. Now, the perception of a hero, as I've mentioned many before, and I'm pretty sure you've heard other channels say it, perception of a hero matters way more than how good a hero actually is. It matters way more what the community thinks than how things actually are. And the prevalent idea that has been proliferated for the past couple months now is that Ryan Zarya, right? Ryan Zarya, uh, Dragon uh, Graviton, right? People think like that's that's the best combo, even though it's it hasn't changed in over two years. It's exactly as strong as it's been since the beta, not since the alpha, because Mercy had some tuning to her, uh, to her uh, power damage amp. So, uh, but most of the time, uh, throughout the the legacy of the game, that combo has stayed the same. Reinhardt has only had some like m bug fixes really to his kit. And we've had a couple of tanks added to the game since. D.Va has had her ups and downs with her nerfs and her buffs. And Winston has kind of been uh, a slave to, you know, what the meta is determines whether he's going to be usable or not. And Roadhog, of course, has gotten, you know, a, a, like 60 million buffs since the game came out. And now is an insane character. And you might have noticed in the Overwatch League playoffs... The vast majority of games were a 3-2-1 comp. It was triple tank, and not the triple tank you're used to here when you think of triple tank. The triple tank was Orisa Diva Roadhog. And that was the majority of games in the playoffs, and especially in the grand finals, where the Spitfire took out the Philly Fusion in two sets. So why was this, you know, so incredibly potent? And why was everybody running it? You know, how come uh, Roadhog is in there? How come we don't see any more Winston play anymore? We've kind of seen that fall off, you know, since the Hanzo buffs and things like that. Although we haven't seen nearly as much Hanzo as people would have you believe um, in the in the playoffs. But definitely like 10,000% more and more often than not. He was in the vast majority of games, but he kind of didn't really dictate how the game went. And... 
as a matchmaking player, I'm not a professional. I'm not in the top 1% of games. I don't get to play the type of games that we see on Twitch or on, you know, your favorite YouTuber or, you know, top 500 Twitch streamer. I play in matchmaking just like the rest of y'all. I'm in the bottom 99%, so I have to deal with the things that are really only an issue in matchmaking. And a lot of that has to deal with not using the good characters, but using the characters that are perceived as good. At least that's what your team is going to be using. And since tank is the least used by far category of characters in the game, I find myself having to fill in the vast majority of the time in tank, uh, you know, when I'm not healing, which is going to be some of the time as well. Use the rage to uh, hopefully boop them out of, uh, you know, contention to the point. But we had a very good stagger on the spawn there, and we're able to take the second point there uh, with my Winston. And we had a diva, which is why I switched over to the Winston in that instance because the Reinhardt was just way too vulnerable in that case, getting to the point. The soldier with the high ground. Reinhardt was good for rushing down the first point and getting that hammer down, but getting to the second point with a D.Va, I felt the best way to go there was the Winston. Maybe I was right, maybe I was wrong, but on the defense, there is only one option in my mind, especially since, once again, as the vast majority of my games have been, doesn't matter if I'm fighting silver or gold or platinum or diamond players, I'm going to be main tanking all by myself. Solo tanking, that is the name of the game if you are matchmaking and you're not an asshole and picking DPS every time and being bad. So, if you're like me and you're main tanking the vast majority of the games because nobody wants to play main tank for a variety of reasons, we won't get into those excuses right now, but it is the most crucial aspect of your team is what kind of main tank you're running for the game mode for the map for your comp and for what off tank you might have thankfully somebody did switch to uh, diva at the last second but you know since i knew i was the only one who was going to be main tanking there was only one option and uh it's really really easy it's orisa orisa is the best tank in overwatch right now I don't think it doesn't matter if you're in bronze or if you're in the Overwatch League. Orisa is the best tank in the game. And it might sound kind of weird because nothing's really changed since everyone thought Ryan Zarya was the end-all and be-all. And we saw a little bit more of them, uh, you know, especially with the GOATS comp, uh, a little bit in Overwatch League. Not as much as you would think, uh, you know, since the GOATS comp is... Uh, probably more featured in like contenders and in uh, certain other uh, tournaments and stuff like that. And the Reinhardt took the bad situation of having an easy pin and missing the light post and taking me all the way to where I no longer got pinned. And Orisa is the best tank in Overwatch in matchmaking as well for a variety of reasons. Obviously, she can block more damage than any other character by a lot. Her shield uptime is going to be more than Reinhardt. And when she doesn't have that shield, she has the Fortify to give her healers more opportunity to keep her up since she's going to have a lot of that damage incoming uh, mitigated. And you're going to be able to get that shield back eventually to throw down as well. She doesn't have the mobility. She's super susceptible to flanking. Put up her against a tracer. She loses 100 times out of 100. And she's got a big old head hit box if a Hanzo or a Widowmaker gets the flank on her. But since coordination is at a premium in all levels of matchmaking, Orisa is kind of super dominant. And I've found that if I stop playing Ryan and Zarya almost all together, you know, in certain circumstances, like getting that first point where I felt like the, the Ryan switch was going to be the most beneficial. And at the very least, it did seem to pay off, but that was only for the first point. As a good player, you have to be switching what characters you're using depending on the situation and what your teammates may be running as well. Thankfully, we get the flashbang on the blossoming uh, Reaper. But Orisa is a much less susceptible to ultimates being thrown her way because she has that fortify to block a lot of damage and CCs. She's able to protect her team a lot more than Reinhardt, and once her shield breaks, she's not instantly dead like a Reinhardt would be, and she's a lot better at defending, whereas if you're attacking is where you're going to see value out of your Zarya. Zarya is not going to be very good at defending. 
if you're attacking, you want to get that grav and you're going to be able to get your charge a lot more quickly. If you're attacking because the enemy is going to be on their back foot, uh, throwing a lot of focused fire into, uh, you know, dive targets that you might have on your team, in which case they're very easy to bubble. And since so many people think Ryan and Zarya are so good, you're going to be having a good time if you're playing Orisa because it is so easy to bait Ryan players when you're playing Orisa, as you've seen me do here already a couple of times, baiting the charge, using the fortify, and instantly killing a Reinhardt. Unless the Reinhardt's getting double pocketed, or if your teammates aren't paying attention to anything, if you fortify a charging Reinhardt, that is a free Reinhardt death every single time. Because he's going to be taking damage unless he's being bubbled. Um, and even if he gets a Brigitte armor pack, he's going to be taking a ton of damage. You're going to be fortifying, getting a lot of free headshots and any follow-up after that. He's going to be right next to you. So your teammates are going to have easy follow-ups with whatever damage and healing they may have. And you're going to be able to, of course, halt people away. I felt like halt has always been... Uh, underestimated as an ability with the halt hook combo as you see a lot in overwatch league uh, just used to perfection uh, it is, it's just the best way of killing any unit anytime and so many super aggressive rhines use charge when they shouldn't if you watch the overwatch league or watch any uh you know really good player they do not charge very often when with Reinhardt when it is not guaranteed, when they aren't going on some awesome flank where they're going to easily catch them off guard or, you know, after a hammer dawn where you're going to get a guaranteed pin on somebody as long as you do not die. So many Reinhardts, including myself from time to time, will try to overpin because a lot of Reinhardt are super aggressive. Either they're used to getting a lot of healing or they just don't see the value in picking a different tank like Orisa. And I feel that Orisa is the best tank, not only in the game, but in every single situation. Once again, get the Reinhardt. He charges in. I'm not going to be stopped and we're going to get a ton of free damage on him time and time again. And you're going to see that at all levels of play on every single map. It's really, really easy to do. There's not a lot of instances where you need your fortifies so you're almost always going to have it off of cooldown and you're going to be able to bait them in every single time and get that uh, tank battle going your way. And when the tank battle goes your way every time, you're never going to lose a game unless, you know, they just get a, an ultimate combo on you and wipe the whole team. Obviously, that's going to happen from time to time. But Orisa can handle long range threats. Unlike Reinhardt, he doesn't outside of Fire Strike, which is, yes, very powerful, but quite slow. He can't do anything against Farah. With Orisa, you can halt her to a single point where you're going to be able to sometimes solo her if she's not getting pocketed. At the very least, sometimes if your teammates pay attention, that's an easy kill as well, depending on the range. Obviously, yes, Orisa's ultimate is hot garbage, even with the buff of getting it more often. It's just not very useful, especially compared to every other tank ultimate in the entire game, including Whole Hog, which uh, can definitely win a team fight uh, by just the added pressure, especially if he is getting some resources pumped at him as well. So they try the pharmacy, they try everything, but my shield is going to be up and I'm going to be doing more damage than, guess what, every single person on my team. Because, you know, they're matchmaking players, therefore 99% of them are going to be DPS only. And in the more DPS characters you have on your team, the less damage they do because DPS players are hot garbage. If they only know how to play DPS, that means they're not good at the game. So, yes, I'm going to be carrying on any tank that I am in any situation when it comes to damage and eliminations. That's just how it works in matchmaking. I don't make the rules, I just watch shit happen. And, you know, when you have a nice Brigitte or a Moira on your team, that definitely helps things out. So, with Orisa being alive much more often than Reinhardt and able to just be in more fights and in more situations and have more utility with the Halt, with the Fortify, and with the Shield up more time and being able to do consistent amounts of damage... You're just going to live longer and you're going to get more kills and have to rely less on your team. That is why mainly Orisa is the best tank in matchmaking because if you're solo tanking, I don't care what the map is, what the game mode is, or what your other tank or lack of tank is. I feel Orisa is going to be the best bet every single time. If you're good with Ryan, 
you have to rely on your other tank being decent as well in order to get the value out of that Reinhardt, even if you are getting a lot of healing resources. Reinhardt needs more things to go right in order to succeed. Orisa needs a lot less. She can solo tank better than any other tank in the game, and in matchmaking where nobody plays tank, that is the best tool in your arsenal. So you're going to be alive longer. You're going to give your healers more time to charge their ultimates off of you since you're going to be alive longer. And you don't have to rely on your garbage DPS players because you're going to be doing more damage and getting more eliminations than the vast majority of them most of the time. And you're going to be protecting everybody, including yourself, more so than you could with Reinhardt. And you don't have to rely on a good tank. You don't have to rely on a good DPS. And, and even don't have to rely on a good main healer. Two off healers sometimes can take it because matchmaking is wild and crazy. So Orisa is the best. In every, even with like, really King of the Hill, really 2CP, really hybrid, really payload. Yes, 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 yes. They've worked it out in the Overwatch League. And since she's so easy to play and such uh, plug and play in any situation, she's going to be useful on attack, on defense, on hybrid, 2CP, payload. It doesn't matter what it is. The majority of the time, Orisa is going to be your safest bet. And that's something I feel that people don't really recognize what's going on right now.